on May the 27th, 2009, see there's a forest work going on here. From the island of Mallorca, the northwest tip, uh, we're now going towards the westernmost village of Mallorca. It's called Sant Elm, S-A-N-T, second word E-L-M. And um, there's an island in front of Sant Elm that's called Sa Dragonera, which means the dragon's island. And the shape of it is because it's sort of reminiscent of the the back of a of a dragon. The whole area is a protected nature reserve. Uh, it's supposed to be really beautiful, and even the uh, the road leading up to it is one of those beautiful mountain and forest roads in in Mallorca here. It's not far from from anything. Uh, we just left this morning from the western bay of Palma, drove up through the mountain town of Calvia, then through Andrach, and then turned right onto the road towards Sant Elm. Everything is really, really close and we've been on the road maybe for 45 minutes or something like that. So that's a really nice feature of this particular island that there's so much to see. Mm -hmm. He's letting me go. There we go. But like I say, the roads are always very narrow here. And you always have to be careful how you drive. Fortunately, this particular road is one of the wider ones. It's also quite windy as you can see. Nice landscape around here. And I just love to capture some of these mountain drives here in Mallorca because for people who love to drive, particularly people who enjoy mountain driving, this is definitely a beautiful place. We've seen a couple of really hair-raising roads. One, the first one, just in the first couple of days, up to the mountain, uh, just out of uh, Polinsa, a uh, mountain called Puig de Maria. The drive there was truly hair-raising because the road was about, well, it was less than one lane here on this road. And okay, now we're getting to Sant Elm and we're seeing the beautiful Mediterranean already. Look at this here. The color of the ocean is amazing. It's light blue with tinges of turquoise. Show you over in this direction, and I would imagine we must be in the in the village of Saint Elm now. So what we'll do is we'll park the car and we'll have a little walk around.